riders face the start on the solo scratch race heat number one. A star start international lineup as Andy Smith, the great English rider, hits the lead on machine number four. Keith Wright is close behind him on number 11. Then Western Australia's Frank Smart up in second place. And then the British stars start to really turn on the fireworks. As they move down the back straight into Pitts Bend, it's Andy Smith, a full time British League rider, out of turn number four and down the main straight. One lap down and two to go. Number four, Great Britain's Andy Smith leads number 11 from Western Australia, Keith Wright. Then back to 34, going well as Frank Smith, and then back there, going very hard indeed as machine number six, and that rider's doing a trouble the job, that's young uh, Clayton Williams. But out of turn number four, the yellow flag comes out, one lap left to go at Ian Diffin, Claremont Speedway, and it's Andy Smith from Great Britain, leads this event in second place as Keith Wright, then back on the outside of him is machine number six, that rider is Clayton Williams, but the last time, down the back straight, it's England's Andy Smith, an all the way victory, a brilliant ride that time as he moves out of turn number four. Number six from England, Clayton Williams in second place. And in third place was young Frank Smart from Western Australia on machine number 34. And Paul Smith on machine number 10, finishing in fourth place. And the win's time for the three lap journey was a 1.472. Four riders face the start. For event number four, the Solo Stars Scratch Race. Grapes fly up that time and England's Andy Smith jumps out of the gate to lead them into the first turn. Back there in second place is Paul Smith on machine number 10 and another English rider, Clayton Williams, moves out of turn number two and down the back straight. Well, it's young Andy Smith, the young English international rider, one of the stars of the Ian Diffin Claremont Speedway season so far this year as he moves out of turn number four and down the main straight. Andy Smith on machine number four, back to Clayton Williams on machine number six, further back to number 10, Paul Smith, and 34 is Western Australians, uh, Frank Smart. But uh, there's no doubt about Andy Smith at the moment. He has absolutely stolen the march on the opposition as he moves out of turn number four. The yellow flag comes out. One lap left to go at Ian Diffin Claremont Speedway, and the young English international rider is giving a copy book ride here. Clayton Williams on machine number six in second place. Paul Smith, number 10, in third place. And in uh, fourth position and going hard is number 34. That rider is Frank Smart, but there's absolutely no doubt about Andy Smith. Out of turn number four, the double checkered flag, and he goes across the line in the wind's time of 1 minute 4.46, a great time. Second place was number six, Clayton Williams from England. And in third place was Andy Smith's younger brother, Paul Smith. The solo scratch race final brings together six very hard charging riders. The track is very rough at the moment because the big cars have been burning up the track. Andy Smith, the young English rider, is the race leader. But oh, I tell you what, it's not a very nice place to be riding a solo motorcycle. But it's Andy Smith out in front. Peter McKenna's in second place. And another English rider, Clayton Williams, up in third place. But they move through Pitts Bend and out of turn number four, down the main straight. Andy Smith, the Englishman, rides very hard indeed. Back in second place is Clayton Williams, a British uh, long track champion. Number seven, young McKenna finds it pretty hard to get to grips with things as they move down the back straight, two laps down and one to go, but Andy Smith, the great English rider who has done a very, very good job here at uh, Claremont Speedway so far this season, goes across the line, the yellow flag's out, one lap left to go, uh, machine number six, that young rider's Clayton Williams, and back in third place is number ten, that's Paul Smith, that's Andy Smith's younger brother, but the solo motorcycles are not enjoying the uh, proceedings here tonight, so uh, uh, they will come across the line on machine number four. Andy Smith will go across the line first. Second place was Clayton Williams. And back there in third place was number 10, Paul Smith. But a very fast wins time of 1.517.